up guys um today we're going over some more replays i tilted on ladder and then i pushed back up to 7000 and i'm going to show the last two matches that um got me there and instead of using splash yard this time i decided to use the best giant deck in the game and uh, this giant graveyard deck i think i've made a couple videos on it now it is so strong so we're just gonna jump right into it, and I will show you guys how to play against Ice Bow. So this is a matchup that I struggled against, and I actually lost. I lost the matchup um, yesterday, um, and because the guy waited until double elixir, and I don't know. So I played it again today, and I like watched one of my friends who's really good with this deck, and I kind of like saw how he was playing the matchup, and so it comes kind of close. But, um, I feel like I kind of had it under control. Uh, I had to play Skeleton Army there just to kind of, like, cycle. I go with a high Inferno to, like, because I thought he would go for a Expo right now. But, um, especially with his, like, Tesla out of cycle, he knows I'm going to try and pressure him. So, yeah, he goes for an Expo, so I'm just going to go Giant at the bridge. Because, like, this is what I saw my friend do. I kind of figured he'd play Skeletons. So that's going to be a really clean defense right there. And that Giant's not going to get any hits. Especially since I'm going to have to um, arrows everything. It's, that's okay arrows because it helps kill everything anyways. Um, so I know he doesn't have Log in Cycle. Because he just used it on my Giant and the Witch. So my next play, I'm, like, thinking about what I should do. And when they don't have log in cycle, you kind of want to try to punish him. I wanted him to like cycle his tornado, so kind of sucks. Um, he kind of like double predicted me by going for a Tesla and an Ice Wiz, but this is actually a good situation because now I've forced out his Tesla. And even though he has an Ice Wiz up right there, I can still just go for a giant. And depending on what he does, I can like freeze if he like tornadoes it back or something. And so he just lets this go. Probably a smart decision on his part. And I'm just going to let go of the Ice Wiz because... Or no, I guess I'm going to cycle a, a Dark Prince in the same lane. Just like take it out a little bit quicker. But I'll just take like 100 damage, which is really nothing. So I kind of just have to cycle um, my Skeleton Army there. I should have predicted his um, Skeletons because I knew he would try to protect his Tesla. Um, it's kind of my fault. And right here, I'm not sure if I should have went giant at the bridge or if I should have went giant in the back, but um, it works out for us because we go for the freeze. Um, so it's not too bad. And I was hoping that the witch would spawn skeletons faster, but she didn't, so kind of sucks. Um, so just trying to cycle some cards. Um, I didn't expect this Expo to lock, but because he played a really bad Tesla, um, it's not going to matter because my Giant's going to get there super easily. I was hoping the Dark Prince would charge too, but he actually spends a log, so now I have to spend arrows. And I can just Inferno Dragon on, right on top of his Valkyrie. Um, and I like waited so that the Ice Wiz would also cross the bridge. Um, so right here I'm going to start a Dark Prince in the back, and this is where he starts to make a mistake. He decides to play defense when he probably should have just went Expo on the opposite lane, um, and forced out some, like, just a giant, so I didn't have a Dark Prince supporting my giant. And so because of that, he's going to take a bunch of damage here. I'm going to arrows to finish off that Ice Wiz, and I think I'm probably just going to cycle a Skeleton Army on this Ice Wiz. Because I can't really take any more damage. And I know he doesn't have um, his log in cycle. So not really a bad play. I can cycle a Dark Prince in the back. And now that I have Giant. Um, I'm actually going to go for the Snipe on this uh, Valkyrie. And then just go Giant in the opposite lane at the same time. I think I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna go Graveyard in the opposite lane. And then just Skeleton Army to cycle. I was hoping that like yeah, some of the Skeletons would survive. And they did. And at the same time, I froze the Inferno on the left side. So, like, I, I, he just wasn't paying attention. I don't know what it is. Like, he just wasn't paying attention. So, we're going to go straight into aggressive again because it's triple elixir and he's, like, in rocket range. So, 
we're just gonna arrow some freeze and hope that hope to God basically that we take his tower because the counter push would have been insane and we win that matchup um, with a really well placed freeze I don't know if you can call freeze well played but we'll just say that um, the next matchup I was going against this really weird sparky deck um, I think this guy like made quite a few mistakes, so um, I'm gonna like point them out whenever I see him make a mistake. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna wait until double like so I think. Yeah. So he goes Sparky in the back first place. So I'm just gonna go for a giant graveyard, and um, I'm actually gonna freeze here. I didn't expect his Sparky to actually hit my giant, so that's a mistake on my part. And I don't think he expected it either because he dropped a skeleton army and so he basically overcommitted on defense so he couldn't spend a... So he couldn't use his goblin giant. I predict his prediction by using my um, skeleton army in the middle instead of just right on top of his sparky. So this time I'm going to set up for a defense. I'm going to go in for a high inferno dragon. Um, and I would have froze except for he had lightning so... Now I'm going to Graveyard and then Freeze as soon as that crosses the bridge and just arrows the left side. And, as and I'm waiting for him to spend his arrows again so that I can drop a Skeleton Army. There's Skeleton Army. So he makes a big mistake here. He goes um, for a Sparky in the same lane as me. Which, that's definitely not the play because now he's just like giving me a push and now I can Freeze everything. And I think I get the, the Sparky too, yeah, I get the Sparky and everything, and I know that I'm just waiting on his Skeleton Army, and we predict it with the arrows, and that's basically GG's, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace!